Hi, I'm Mike from Simdeck Racing Simulators and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the RC1000 Static Cockpit. You can see all the parts are laid out here so you see what you get. There's a lot of parts but it's relatively, relatively straightforward to assemble and I'll take you through it step by step. Okay, so the first place to start is at the rear of the cockpit. You'll see that the base runner is come pre-assembled, joined together by the checker plate. So we're going to assemble the rear seat runner and um, seat support bracket assembly. Again, these come pre-assembled. They're, they're pre-spaced <coughs> to accommodate the, the Corbo seat. So the first thing to do is attach the runners at the front. By the way, there's only two fixings here. You've got M8 bolts and M6 nuts and bolts. You only need two tools, an M6 Allen key and a 13mm spanner, and they're supplied with the fixing kit. So I'm just going to loosely attach the front runner, both sides. I'm not bolting these down tight because they're, they're a, a slot at the front of the runners and you need to be able to slide the seat mechanism forward to get to the rear mount. That one can go up. And there's just two locating lugs on the inside of the runners, they obviously marry with these two holes on the bar itself. So, fit one side, compress the other, there you go. So simply drop the seat in, you'll need to support it a little bit. Attach the rear front nuts first. So the next stage is to assemble the wheel and pedal mount. Uh, and we're going to start with the support for the for the two legs. This part comes pre-assembled, uh, and there's three bolts attaching it to the base runner. There's one tricky one, which is the the inner bolt here. And the best way of tackling this is to try and feed it through amongst the top side. Okay, put your finger on it and line it up. Get it somewhere near, and then just lightly, I well, don't fully tighten it, but just get that bolt going. And then insert the other two. So having fixed the leg supports, the next job is to simply insert the two legs. We've got two locking thumb nuts, which have to adjust the height of the leg. I'm just going to insert those, but not tighten them up at this stage. So the next thing I'm going to do is attach the bracing bracket. This also provides the rear mount for the 
um, sliders which support the table and that gives you your forwards and rearwards adjustment on the um, wheel position. So four bolts. So the wheel, the wheel runners, two of these again come pre-assembled. Um, you want the nut at the front and the nut on the underside to attach these. There's two bolts on the underside of each leg. So go back and finish tightening up the bracing bolts. There's four fixings to attach here. The, the front ones again are on 20 mil thumb nuts and there's a captive there's a captive nut that we're going to use to pick up on the front mount, front mounting there's quite a lot of adjustment in this pedal point as you can see it's going to adjust it's got about 75 80 mil of travel front and rear and probably about 25, 30 degrees of pivot. So to fix the front part of the pedal assembly, you've got a 20 mil thumb nut and a K nut and a non-slip washer. The non-slip washer needs to sit between the inside face of this plate and the outside face of that plate. Now, you need to, it's fairly tricky, but you need to slot the washer in between those two faces thumb up through their washer and then fix the cane up in the rear attach the um, one of our this is exactly the same assembly as the as the seat so the last part to fit is the wheel plate and that sits on top of the runners. There's four fixings to attach here. You need to line up all four holes. We're not going to be able to access these at the moment but I'll stick these in so it's located. On, we want to slide the whole plate back. This is a upside down setup of the seat runner. You need to press this bar down. Although we're not going to fit the wheel at this stage, I just want to show you how the thumb nuts um, pinching on these legs take out all of the slack in this wheel now. There's only four thumb nuts, but they really clamp down the leg legs and take out all of the slack. So you've now got a super stiff, lightweight 
RC1000 cockpit. That concludes the assembly demonstration of the Simdac RC1000 cockpit. Thanks for watching.